Bali is just a whole bunch of creative person. <laughs> like I'm a creative entrepreneur, so most times I make crafts, but still I do paintings. I do mural paintings more. But my I think my strength basically is more more in my craft. to my uni funny the funny thing was when i went to my uni my year one i, I was in theater arts <laughs> yeah i know people won't believe that apart from people who know me from school i was in theater arts year one but thank god then we still have choice to to divert from year two so year two from year two is when you make your decision if you want to finally be in visuals music or whatever so year two i just thought of it i was like come on i've been doing at singing and dancing and all of that right from secondary school with my whole Lagos State Theatre trip thing then I just diverted to visuals my our dance lecturer then he was so angry that I left theatre because I was actually one of their group dancers so he was so angry like come on why did you leave theatre you are so good with your dancing but I was like I want to swap I just want to do something else so like that that was how the whole art thing started though so Bali being the fact that I studied the, um, textile design, I'm not really doing all of those are the rare thing. I am looking at how I can use what I've learned from the school. Fine, apart from the fact that you majored in textile arts, we still do painting in school, we still do other courses. Drawing is a general course you do till you graduate. So, so I can paint too, but I can do my textile and I'm good with my textile to designing of fabrics. But with time, the market for textile was kind of, it wasn't, it wasn't that encouraging, let me put it that way. It wasn't that encouraging, like you take your time to dis make a design, dye the clothes, dry the clothes, wax the clothes, you know all of that, it's so stressful. And somebody will just come and tell you 5,000 for five years, really? 5,000 with this whole stress, imagine me doing batik, sitting for how many hours doing um, wax with my hand, hot, 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 the whole hot thing and all. I just said no no i can't do this anymore come on <laughs> i just said let me think of something what can i do with what i've learned okay fine being a textile artist what else can you do that was how the whole um mirror thing started i was like come on i've loved henna i've been doing henna design for from school like painting people's hands and all of that and i used to do it on myself so i was like well use this design and just turn it into painting that was how my mirror thing started like i just swap i just deviated like put my talent somewhere else like okay let me do mirror and mirror has been so nice to me <laughs> like me and my world we communicate so so fast that it's so funny how i've never made any sample for all of my clients i think i have made sample just once i've never made sample like most of my clients will just see one of my work and be like okay just do something for us and i just design i've never made sample and show my client like this is what it's going to be like and they say okay they like it they just said do your thing and i i'm grateful that whenever i just do my thing they always like it um to paint a wall basically depend on the space it depends on the size of the wall it depends on you know besides okay let me say for example if i'm to do a 10 10 by 12 wall if i'm doing my lines art it doesn't take me more than two days Sometimes it can take me a day, depending on what I want to design. 
you have to put what what makes their design it makes you it makes um the duration of work longer because painting words take more time than painting the lines itself painting the lines is very good yeah just plain just paint and it's fast but if you're painting words or figure then it takes more time because i like perfection i know nobody's perfect but i like perfection in my work i don't mind cleaning the whole one starting all over again that's how i am if i don't like it i, I don't mind starting all over again I, I just want to be satisfied with what i've done like okay i like it i know you as a client or anybody who's seen this can criticize it but it is normal if people don't criticize you you don't you don't you don't learn and you, you don't become better no there's no restriction in my work i just explore i told i said i'm a creative person so i just explore i just try i keep trying different different medium i'm not i'm not um stagnant to one medium I try everything possible because I call myself a creative person, so I can use anything. I can decide to use clay today and do something. I can decide. I, I don't have one particular medium where people know me for and say, "Oh, when when you see Bali, she's always a mandala person." Do you get? I have mandala. I have henna designs. I have lamps like this. I have my lamps filled with calabash. I have my cable. I have my bottle art. So I have so many, and I have my t-shirt. Like I painted this myself with my hand. Uh, like no machine painting i painted it myself so i just like to explore so nothing is holding me back i just do what i have to do but what i learn not to do is actually um do a copy and paste most times art is rebranding art is all about rebranding if you like it or not the idea i have in my head one million people have that same idea in their head somewhere around the world so you, if you if you paint your work for example and you see someone you'll be like come on she copied my idea actually nobody copied your idea so many people have the same idea as you but the thing is who brought it out first is what people see or who people know first is what they see and they'll be like ah this person just like for example let me say two face in this particular way and for example let me say a new musician came out they'll be like ah it seems like two face you get it's actually not because it seems like two face it seems like him but because everybody knows two face and two face has surrounded himself around that kind of style so people will say call the style two face style but it's actually not two face style it's everybody's style sometimes you may have an idea but you don't have the capital to establish the idea so you, the idea just dies it's not like it dies you actually just keep it somewhere in your diary maybe one day anything can happen and you can just bring it back to life but what i've noticed with time was is that sorry the more you keep your idea the more someone else is making that idea and by the time you want to go back to that idea it's already rampant and it's looking like oh now you're not looking like the one who wants to steal the idea do you get there's like some years ago i thought about the table the tire table stuff because i i love craft a lot i love to create i thought about it i didn't do it because the capital then i didn't really have the funds to really do all those tire tables and chairs and all of that then i won't lie to you i've not really been seeing it on the internet but i've actually been seeing it on youtube by the white people doing it though but i've not really seen it that much in nigeria well no capital no capital and you keep keeping the idea keeping the idea before you know i've i've, I've seen everybody doing it girls guys girls everybody's doing it and it's not like oh shit can't do this again just leave it just let it die do you get be black
Hmm? <laughs> I said that earlier. I said I like I have make sure it's perfect. If it's not perfect, I keep I don't mind doing it all over again. It's a dream, yeah. It's just me. I just wanna have my own gallery. You know, when you have that space, when you have that enough capital where you can just do whatever you want you to do. I just can't wait to get to that level where I can really explore what I have inside of me. So that that thing I want to do is my craft. It's my craft. Like I want the world to see what I can do. I hate it when people limit women to things like when they say no, a woman cannot do this. That is what me I like. I like that challenge when you say a woman cannot do this. That is what I want. I'm always addicted to this Chinese kind of way how they do the aspirations. Like have you gone to a Korean or have you ever checked online to see how Korean apartment is? Have you seen their apartment? Everything everything is so fine, so unique and so technical. Like everything is based on science to them and it's so cool that i like the fact that they explore and their creativity is so so amazing so the space sometimes limits you to what you want to do so of course if i have that space i think people will be able to know me so fast instead of knowing me in 10 years time they'll be knowing me in the next one year because i would have created so much so much but though there are not things you can do all by yourself sometimes you need other hands you need other creative minds I want to be able to work with so so many other creative people. I just can't wait to find that that company or that organization that will say, okay, fine, come and make ten of these furniture for us. Let them see the kind of crazy furniture I want to make. I know that people will be saying my name because you'll be seeing Bali furniture, you'll be seeing Bali lamps, you'll be seeing Bali t-shirts, you'll be seeing Bali Bali everything on different brands. Because I am a bunch of brands. I don't have one particular thing I want to do that. Okay, I'm just a mirror moralist. No. I'm a creative entrepreneur. Yes, I've actually not done any work on it yet. Just just the background. Just like the way I painted these ones. Like the back is just plain. But the front is where the work is. Mm -hmm.